weather's taking a turn for uh, for the worse and it's uh, it's raining and we've got thunderstorms going up and down the country so I've decided to retire into the shed and um, decided to put together a quick video to show how I'm going to use um, some disc brakes actually uh, to make a mount adapter for, for my uh, for my pier outside. So first things first what I need to do is take a look at the um, the tripods that come with the the EQ6R Pro, the Skywatcher mounts, which um, which I, my last video was about, um, and it's just start off the process by taking a few measurements. So what I've done, I've I've measured the diameter of this this hole here, this little recess um, that comes out as 65 millimeters, um, and that's where the foot of the actual mount itself sits into. Um, then got uh, the the alignment peg here. So I've taken some measurements there. Um, it, it's about seven or eight millimeters away from the side of the the side of the recess, um, and then also taking the measurement of the height. So using those measurements, I've I've then got enough information um, to proceed with the plan and and come up with my own my own solution. Um, so we'll we'll take a look at what I did next. So using those measurements, um, then went on the internet and had a bit of a look around, um, tried to find out some information about uh, different size disc brakes, etc. Um, come across a, a catalogue which lists all the different disc brakes that you can get to fit all sorts of different cars and everything. Um, and crucially, they, they also list all the dimensions. So the dimensions um, which I took off the, off the mount, um, that's, that's where these come into play now. Um, so what I was able to do is source this, this disc brake, or a pair of these, brake, these discs actually. Um, and this is the crucial hole here. So that is the 65 millimeters um, diameter hole which, which I need to, to do this project. That's the crucial bit there. Um, this, for all intents and purposes, this is from a, uh, a, a, I think it's a 1997 1.6 litre Alpha, uh, sorry, uh, say Ibiza or something like that anyway. But um, the, the, the car doesn't really matter. What's, what's important is this 65mm this hole here. Um, so what I've, um, what I've done already, I've, I've sat the mount on here. It actually fits really snugly, fits really nice. Um, so then the next thing for me to do was to start drilling some holes into it um, in, for things like the alignment peg and, and one thing and another and um, yeah just just get it all ship shape and ready to to take on to the next part of the process and this is what I'm now left with so um, I'm actually midway through through the project at the moment but um, but hopefully you'll be able to see where it's going so um, so what I've done is um, I've taken out some corners here, um, took the angle grind out, just cut some corners. When this actually sits on top of my pier, I've got some bolts um, similar to this, which actually bolt down onto threaded rods, um, like so. So I, I just needed to take these corners out to make sure there was room to get at those bolts in there. Um, so once I've done that, uh, the next thing I did was to measure for, for the alignment peg, so my alignment peg here is just a little, a little uh, bolt with with a series of flat nuts on there, um, and that that sits in there quite nicely, and and the mount will sit on there, and I can use that alignment peg, uh, works really well. Uh, obviously, steel is what the what the disc brakes are actually made out of. Uh, obviously, it's going to suffer rust and corrosion and all the rest of it. So. At this point in time, I'm just coating it with a with a couple of um, layers of red oxide primer. Um, it takes about six to eight hours to dry in between um, coats, and um, yeah, so that's on there now. Once that's finished, I'll I'll paint it all off in black, and uh, and there we go. So ultimately, this will just sit on top of the pier. Um, the foot of the mount will fit in this 65 millimeter hole here. With the alignment peg inside it, um, everything's bolted down. Um, these smaller holes I've also drilled. They will attach the, the this this disc to the actual top plate of my pier, um, and that should be it. Um, it's, so it's a very easy, very straightforward uh, conversion, if you like. 
Um, in total, cost me about £20. Unfortunately, you can only buy disc brakes in pairs, um, unless you're lucky enough to, to find them individually. What I do suggest is if you're going to do a similar sort of design, then don't just go off my measurements. Actually measure your own kit first, because it does differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. Um, even different model mounts in, in each for each manufacturer as well. Um, so there we are. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get this up and running now in a couple of days' time. By the time all the paint's on, it's all dry and everyone's happy. And just one last thing with the fixtures and when you buy the mount it comes with a tripod and then it comes with um, with this uh, attachment here so this is the actual rod which comes up through the base plate of, of the tripod itself and then this part on the end um, is the part that actually attaches to the mount and it screws up into the base of the mount there now obviously that's far too long to fit under your normal pier um, so what I've done is um, I've taken the measurement of this this end here the end actually fits up into the end of the um, to the end of the pier uh, sorry the the underside of the mount um, and that's that converts to basically an M12 bolt so here's the bolt here much shorter does exactly what I need it to do um, so that's what I will actually be using to attach the mount to uh, to the the pier adapted plate here um, and even got the sockets out there ready to go look so perfect